Just a friendly reminder that society has a right to norms and standards. That doesn't mean that we're going to be hateful or especially cruel or chase out of town anyone who doesn't adhere to the norms or standards. But it does mean that we're going to uphold a certain set of ideals, a way of being a type of lifestyle or lifestyles as the thing to which we generally aspire. And anyone who bucks that may feel a healthy dose of shame, of othering. Shame has a rightful place within a civilized, moral, healthy society. Humans are social creatures and shame is the way that we have long since past course corrected each other's behavior away from the destructive, the unhealthy, etc. And obviously this has been weaponized at various times throughout history. I am never for shaming someone for his immutable characteristics. I'm talking about behavior. Uh, we should be able to say your life will be objectively better if you are not overweight or obese. You will be healthier, you will be more attractive or attractive at all versus not attractive. That doesn't mean we shun anyone who struggles with her weight, but it does mean that we're going to pull this ideal over here, this standard of beauty. We should be able to say your life will be objectively better if you're not trans. And that has little to do with you not being accepted and more to do with the fact that once you medically transition, you become a medical patient for life, an objectively harder life, not the same as being not trans. But today the left wants to tear down every societal norm and standard and behave as if every single lifestyle or lifestyle choice is exactly equal to just as valid as the next. And that is simply not true.